Five years after a catastrophic meltdown at a nuclear power plant in Fukushima, Japan spread radiation throughout the area, Taiwan's government is moving toward lifting its import ban on foods produced there. But many in Taiwan have worries about the safety of food from the region. And fierce confrontations at a series of public hearings on the issue have seemingly forced the government to back down on its proposal. Can a compromise be reached in the face of pressure from Japan? Our Sunday in-depth report. In this laboratory at the Institute for Nuclear Energy Research in Taoyuan, researchers are performing radiation tests on the packaging of Japanese foodstuffs selected by the Food and Drug Administration from imported shipments. They're using spectral analysis to confirm whether the foods contain excess levels of radioactive substances. The most common radioactive isotopes found in these foods are potassium-40, as well as radon gas, which is more commonly found in buildings. They're both naturally occurring isotopes. But the so-called artificial isotopes, like those generated in Japan's Fukushima disaster, including the more indicative isotopes of cesium-134, cesium-137, and iodine-131, are currently the main targets of our tests. Since the Fukushima nuclear disaster in 2011, Taiwan has maintained an import ban on foodstuffs from Fukushima Prefecture, as well as those produced in the nearby prefectures of Gunma, Tochigi, Ibaraki, and Chiba. For food products from other regions of Japan, Taiwan tests each shipment, but only 0.2% of all imported Japanese foodstuffs have given abnormal readings to date. Municipal health departments also conduct their own random tests. It looks like a strict regime of controls, but there are still holes in it. In March 2015, authorities discovered food from the regions affected by the nuclear disaster in Taiwan, with the places of origin on the packaging having been altered. Two months later, the nation's health ministry announced that it was requiring all imports of Japanese foods to come with documentation certifying their geographical origin. That move brought tremendous pressure from Japanese authorities, who criticized it as unfair and even illegal. We very much regret that Taiwan has implemented these one-sided measures without any scientific basis, and we hereby strongly call for Taiwan to remove its import controls. If they do not make any concrete progress on that front, we will discuss an appropriate response, including filing suit with the WTO. In August 2016, the Tsai administration dispatched officials to the nuclear disaster area to check on the level of contamination found there. The group's findings were used as evidence to support a proposal to partially lift the import ban, starting with selected products from the four prefectures around Fukushima itself. Our economy plays an important role, especially in the arena of international trade. So we believe that as long as we have 100% confidence in the safety of these food items, we should proceed with lifting the ban on the basis of standards put forth by international bodies. In the several days after the nation's deputy agriculture minister made those remarks, the government staged 10 public hearings across Taiwan on the subject. Those public hearings quickly turned into a place for those against the loosening of the ban to express their opposition. Lingering public doubts over the safety of Japanese imported foods helped influence the approach of many municipalities, 16 of which have so far come out explicitly against loosening the ban. The fact that those municipalities include some governed by the ruling DPP party helped force the administration to go back and draw up even stricter terms for a potential relaxation of the ban. On the administrative gaps and holes in our regulatory regime, the Premier believes that we should review and reflect upon the shortcomings in our current system by means of these proposals. There won't be any discussion of opening up imports as long as we lack a robust system for monitoring and checking food imports. At present, 
only Taiwan and China have kept in place full import bans on food from areas affected by the Fukushima disaster, with China's ban extending to 10 prefectures in the area and Taiwan's to five. But even after a new party took power this year, Taiwan still doesn't have enough resources and staff to carry out the number of radiation tests and customs checks needed to convince the public that it can effectively uphold national health standards. The challenge for the Tsai administration is to come up with additional, more concrete measures to win back public trust and ensure that all foods imported from Japan are safe to eat.